Welcome back everyone to Star Oasis channel. My name is Ali Casey. In today's video, I will answer a question sent by a viewer uh, and he asks how to build Donchian channel uh, strategy in Algo Wizard. So let's jump in. Welcome back traders. In today's video, I will answer a question. Uh, it was a comment uh, on one of the videos. I like the questions that other viewers uh, can find it useful. So that's why I do a video on some of the questions. In any case, the question is how to build a Donchian uh, channel system because uh, SQX doesn't have that indicator. And the reason they don't have that indicator, although some uh, they do have it, but SQX doesn't have it, it's very simple. The Donchian channel is basically just the highest high of n periods and the lowest low of n periods so which was that function is available in sqx and then this middle line is basically high plus uh, low divided by two the formula is this the upper channel is the highest high in n periods and the lower channel is the lowest low in n, n period and then this is the middle line is the upper uh, channel minus the lower channel divided by two. So we can easily do that in Algo Wizard. And I'll go to Algo Wizard setting. I will set it to Trade Station. And since this is a basically a trend following strategy, it's mainly been uh, uh, popularized by uh, the turtles. You can read about them. Uh, uh, it's by a guy Dennis uh, Richard, I think. And he made like, you know, 100, 200 millions in the 80s using uh, two systems based on Don Chien channel. I will do uh, today the simple one, which is a two, uh, 22 days. And uh, since it is a, um, let's pick some commodity. Okay, I have oil here. And let's do 2015. And then commission. 2.5 slippage 1 and let's save data on chart we do one contract so that setting is done so the highest high is very simple we need the high the high of today greater than The highest high of last 22 bars and to go the opposite is the lower channel so the low of today is the lowest low of the past 22 days is lower okay so these are the don't chain channels this is the upper channel highest high of the last 22 days and the lower channel lowest low of the last 22 days so when the high is greater than the highest i will go long and when the low is uh, lower than the lowest i will go short so currently if we test this let's test a full back test you will see that there is only one trade and you might find this is a um, so you see we sell in March 2001 and we never exit actually our exit is end of test which we put September 1st 2015 and the reason is because we didn't set a uh, an exit and usually if you do this in trade station this signal actually will exit this but in SQX, you have to define it. Currently, by default, is false because this this is the long exit. It needs the long exit signal to be true. So the long exit signal here is false by default. You need to have some condition to make it true. So to fix this, we can go here and let's uh, delete this. And short exit and we'll delete this and now that means it's always true so 
When I have a long position, as long as I have a long position, I will exit. So theoretically, that should be one day. You enter, at the end of the bar, you're gonna find you have a position, then the next day you will exit. And we can test this. And you can see, so we enter March 16, we exit 19, we enter 21st, we exit 22. And this sometimes will differ by a day or two, or even sometimes three days, depending on the weekend and holidays. So April 3, we exit at 4, 21st, 22. So you see, we, we're exiting right away. But I don't want to exit right away. I want to exit only when this condition is true. That means I want to be all the time in the market, which is that's the original Dunchin uh, channel strategy. It's always in the market and basically going long and it will exit the long and enter short uh, at the same time. So if I want to do that, then I have to copy these conditions in here. So if I can come here and let's say copy. So this is my long entry signal and I will make it my short exit. So click here paste so this is now my short exit signal and same thing for my short entry it will be my long exit signal and let's test and we can see it now on the trades on chart So you can see I'm entering long and then going short and then going long and going short. What you see here, there is a different time between the signal. It's not the same time. So let's zoom in. So for example, you can see here that I went short, but then I didn't go long. I exit, but I didn't go long. And here I went long short next day long there's a different of difference of one day here i didn't it didn't happen at the same time and here it didn't happen at the same time there's like three six eight bars and the reason for this is the logic so let me walk you through it so right now we are going long when the high today is greater than the highest high 22 days ago so if I'm short and this signal happens remember now I am short this signal happens I'm I still holding a position the next day I sell and the end of the end of next day the end of tomorrow then I will have zero position which means I can enter the long signal but sometimes this signal is not true the next day also. So we need to delay this, this signal by one day for the entry. So I will delay it one and two. Same here, one and two. So now, when I exit the uh, when I exit the short position, so let's say I'm short today, the signal happens, I will exit tomorrow, and then after tomorrow I'm ready to take my next trade. So I need to look back two days ago if if my signal was right, and that's why we delayed this signal, and we can test now. And we can see now we are very close. Always entering and exiting the next day. So now we solved the problem of always being in the market. So this strategy now, it's always in the market. 
and it's either long or short obviously this money we made in the uh, 2008 when oil went to 160 or something actually the price is here we know so this is uh, this is back adjusted so you see the prices are different but we know why and this is not an anomaly so if you're doing trend following this is normal where all uh, most of your trades are losing and then you make money on one or two big trades and that's why you cannot uh, trade trend following systems on its own on one instrument you need multiple trend following systems on multiple instruments in a portfolio to to have this strategy viable uh, otherwise that's what happens it's uh, it's like you know 70 percent losses and then 25% break even, and then 2 or 3% making a little bit of money, and then 1 or 2% making lots of money. Now, the strategy also, if you want to make it a little bit better, then we can exit on the middle line. So, for example, let's say here I entered short. I will not wait to go long here. I will exit in the middle. And then I'm long here, I will exit in the middle. And then I'm long here, I will exit in the middle. So basically, this is kind of a stop loss. It's not, but it's kind of a stop loss. So how do I do this? Well, first I need to calculate this middle channel. So the middle channel is what is the, is the upper channel minus the lower channel divided by 2. So if this is 100 and this is 50, so 100 minus 50 is 50. Divided by 2 is 25. But 25 will be here. So you need to add the result to the lower channel. So again, if this is 100, this is 50. And the result is 25. So you add 25 to 50. And then you end up with 75 here. So that's what we need to do. So the long exit signal. So we're going long. So I need the close to be below this middle line. Okay, so this is the long exit signal. So I need the close. Close of today to be lower than the channel, the middle channel. And the middle channel is what? As we said, is the upper channel minus the lower channel divided by two plus the lower channel. So the first thing we have a function of plus if this is difficult then i suggest you write it down on piece of paper and then you'll find it's easy to program so uh, plus then we add the lower channel and the lower channel is what is the lowest low so the uh, sorry the lowest the lowest low last 22 days so now I need the upper channel minus the lower channel divided by 2. So first I have division. And the division is uh, divided by 2. Okay, and now what I have, I have the up higher channel, the upper channel minus the lower channel. So I have a minus. And now I have the upper channel, which is the highest high. Minus the lowest low. Great. So if the close lower than the middle channel, which is the highest high, minus the lowest low divided by 2 plus the lowest low then that's my exit signal now that I have this exit signal remember we did have a long exit here so now I don't need this condition anymore so I need I deleted that one by mistake which is, I can copy it from here. 
copy. Let's add a condition and paste and it's long. So now when I have a position is long and when the close happen, then I will exit. And the short is the, uh, the short will happen when the close is above. So it's same everything. And I just need to add a condition here. And let's paste. And delete this. And the close has to be greater than. And with the short, I need to get rid of this condition. So now when I have a short position and the close is above the middle, I will exit. And let's run the back test. And let's see trade on chart. Let's zoom in so we can see. Oh, by the way, uh, this is the show indicators. Unfortunately, it doesn't treat the middle channel as an indicator. So we can see. Oh, we're exiting the next day. I know why. Because we did not have set this to be true. Okay, so we need to add the, um, the true statement here. Because right now, again, it's always long. So uh, whenever it's long, it's going to exit the next day. So we need to add that condition, which is true. And that condition is Boolean. Um, let me see. It's a variable boolean and yes long this is long long entry signal is true and in short we add boolean variable which is short uh, short exit signal sorry that was i think i didn't do it right it's long exit signal Yes. So long exit, I need the long exit signal to be true and I have a position and my long exit signal now is here and now I can run short just to make sure the short exit is short exit signal. Okay. So we run and let's zoom in and see. Yeah, it looks like it's working so you see we go long and we're exiting about the middle short exiting about the middle long exiting about the middle uh, sorry short here exiting the middle long exiting middle long middle short middle yeah it's working and i think this is our uh, good trade equity chart and of course we are in a drawdown and we can test and see what's happening now after 2015 and it looks back we made our money back we just made a new high <laughs> so we've been in a drawdown since 2009 and we just made a new high and look at this trade this is the monstrous trade I think that happened in March. And so let's see here. So this is the one, $45,000, yeah. Which is January 15 and ended in May 14. And there it is. So it happened in January and we ended up. We closed it in May. 
that's the system how to build a don't change channel now uh, as usual i will give you some uh, extra help with this which is basically right now you're just using the high and low so as an exercise you can add uh, regime filters so sma simple moving average oh the close nope. so the close so if the close today is greater than the sma let's say um, 75 days You can add uh, RSI, for example, let's say the um, RSI is falling higher than a level, lower than a level, let's say, uh, level is 20. You can see it, 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 make, it made a huge effect. Now, might do the opposite. And also did make a lot of effect. So you can see, you can play with it. Uh, just add major filters. This is not complicating the strategy. This is uh, really uh, widely used. And not necessarily will make it better. Uh, remember, to make a, the trend following strategy better is to use it on many instruments and many iteration of the same strategy. So for example, the turtles use 22 and 55 so they call this system one and 55 days is system two and they don't take the second signal and so forth so there are many ways to enhance this uh, but sometimes the the regime filter will uh, will add more stability to the strategy you reached the end of the video i hope it was useful as usual please share like comment so google can show it to other traders see you soon